Do you think all whistleblowers go to heaven? Clap it. Mm hmm. It's a valid question. We know if you work for Boeing and you're a whistleblower, you're not going to be blowing any whistles for very long. Hey, yo, Moan. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Hero. This is Coding with Strangers. And I want to talk about something. We're not singing anything. We're getting serious here, okay? Now, I've been doing a lot more content about AI. And the AI doomer in me probably felt some regret because I was like, no, Hero, AI does have the the capacity to be good. So, so let's make sure we're talking about it in a responsible, healthy way. Let's make sure that we're giving it grace, you know? But... The more I think about it, when has corporate greed ever done the right thing? We have countless, we have history books full of corporate greed being the literal downfall of all things collectively associated with humanity. From people's pensions being eviscerated, the dot, the dot com bubble or whatever, uh, the housing crisis, when there's an opportunity for money to be made, people will be left in the ruins of that greed. It's the greatest sin in the world to me, for good reason. But no one has to tell us that AI probably doesn't have its best interest at heart for the general masses. We covered a story yesterday who talked about how women aren't basically, our women are basically being erased from open AI's data centered focused large language models because a bunch of men are making it. And while that isn't the toxic headline that you want to see, especially in this whole uh, everything's woke genre, damn it, I forgot to turn off my Jay, Jay Davis, if you're watching this right now, you ruined the show. The the ultimate the ultimate problem we're gonna run into is we've already realized that open AI and large language models have the capacity to do horrific things and terrible things without it even being in the hands of the wrong people. Um, when this technology is in the hands of wrong people, we saw people literally take a megastar such as Taylor Swift and create some truly atrocious pictures with her and there was nothing anyone could do other than say, stop searching for this person's name on the internet. And that's just not going to be the situation. And if my memory serves me correctly, today I believe OpenAI was shut down. And it might have been due to ransomware or hackers or something like that. So I haven't read this article, so we'll go in blind here. But AI has too many shortfalls that are going to cause horrific side effects if we don't start thinking ahead of the curve. What do I mean by that? You don't wait till someone hits a child before you put speed bumps in the middle of the road. By that time, it's already too late. And now everyone is going to get the experience of what it feels like to hit a kid when they go over that speed bump. You put a camera at the top of the street and everybody who goes over the speed limit gets a ticket. You put hit them where it hurts. Right. And you punish. You don't do collective punishment, essentially, is what I'm getting at, because some people want to follow the rules. Some people want to use AI for good things. There's a group of people out there who want to do bad things with AI, and we need to start safeguarding it so it doesn't affect normal people. Former OpenAI employees say whistleblower protection on AI safety is not enough. 13 former OpenAI employees said in an open letter that AI companies have retaliated against people who speak out around safety concerns. Oh, shit. Hey, if anything happens to me, I was, I'm happy. I'm safe. And I love my strangers. Several former OpenAI employees warned in an open letter that advanced AI companies like OpenAI stifle criticism and other oversight, uh, especially as concerns over OpenAI safety have increased in the past few months. The open letter signed by 13 former OpenAI employees, six of whom choose to remain anonymous, oh shit, <laughs> endorsed by godfather of AI, Joffrey Hinton, says in the absence of any effective government oversight, AI companies should commit to open criticism principle. These principles include avoiding the creation and enforcement of non-disparagement disparagement clauses, 
facilitating a verifiable anonymous process to report issues allowing current and former employees to raise concerns to the public and not retaliating against whistleblowers. So apparently in their time of their inceptions, these companies are all relatively new and their technology is super new and we don't have anything that can do. We don't have anything that from a government standpoint that has oversight over them so they're literally in charge of policing themselves and we know how this is going to end because when Ticketmaster in 2010 wanted to become one with Live Nation we said hey this is a bad idea because one of them owns a bunch of venues and then the other one owns all the tickets and when they were separated they could work independently of each other and had to had to make compromises with each other when they joined we then have a situation where Taylor Swift tickets Go from being $400 on their website to resell websites that they own have markup fees of $400. So the tickets are $110 and you're now paying just the price of the fees was the price of the original ticket. So why wouldn't so why would anyone care? So it, it comes down to money. But these employees are literally saying, yo, we we need to do better. Can, can we do better? We're, we're, we're appealing to the people who have the power to do something before something bad happens. The letter says that while they believe in AI's potential to benefit society, they also see risks such as enrichment of inequalities, manipulation, and misinformation, and the possibility possibility of humans extinction. Okay. 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 Relax. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, my God. What matters is our plan. <laughs> Did he just say the possible extinction? While there are important concerns about machines that could take over the planet today, generative AI has more down-to-earth problems such as copyright violations, inadvertently sharing of problematic and illegal images, and the concern it can mimic people's likeness and misleading the public. And you know what? Now that I mention it, there is a, a planetary effect on this. Like, I think someone was comparing running a large language model for one hour equates to like 32 gallons of water need, being needed to cool said center per square foot. Th what, 32 gallons per square foot? To cool it. We're going to run out of ice. The letter's signees claim current whistleblower protections are insufficient because they focus on illegal activities rather than concerns that are mostly unregulated the department of labor states workers reporting violations of wages discrimination safety fraud and withholding of time off are protected by whistleblower protection laws which means employers cannot fire lay off reduce hours or demote whistleblowers some of us reasonably fear various forms of retaliation given given the history of such cases across the industry we are not the first to encounter or speak out about these issues. The letter reads, AI companies, particularly OpenAI, have been criticized for inadequate safety oversight. Google has defended its use of AI overview in search even after people claimed it was giving people dangerous though hilarious results. Microsoft was also under fire for its co-pilot design which was generating sexualized images of women in viol violent tableaus. Vi in violent tableaus. What's a tableaus? I'm assuming it's like a page or something. Recently, several OpenAI researchers re resigned after the company disbanded its super alignment team, which focused on addressing AI's long-term risk. And the departure of co-founder Elix Sutraka, who had been championing safety in that company one former researcher jan liqui said that safety culture and processes have taken a back seat to shiny products at openai openai doesn't have a new safety team one that is led by ceo sam alton so damn openai does have a new safety team and it's literally being led by sam altman okay so <laughs> Damn, ah man, this is a conundrum, and and it's and I, I I've said this before and I'll say it again. There's only two things that bring about movement. Three things: pain, regret, and billionaires losing money. 
And once enough billionaires lose money, we'll see movement and progress in this. That's the, that's the only way this something is going to happen. That's unfortunate, but that's the, that's the world we currently live in right now. And I don't want to say that. Actually, I, I don't have a choice because yesterday we did a story about how there's not enough diversity and that's causing the AI machine to become very male oriented. And now we're ha- hearing a story about how the CEO of a company is the leader of the safety department. And for all intents and purposes, I don't know if Sam Altman has taken any ethical courses from from the ethical stance of governance, the ethical stance of uh, humanities from a humanity aspect. And we already know he doesn't take an ethical ethics in legal copyright because he's currently he's about to be sued by Scarlett Johansson. Black Widow going to bite his ass. So we know that there's an inherent problem and our government is stalling. They did make sure that they put in a rep reform it for in the bill of the last cycle to make sure that AI generated objects cannot be used for by any political party or any a political party association. So they've already made sure that they can't be affected by this. It's strange that they haven't figured out a way to protect us. I because if you wanted to take a practical approach to this, it, it will require you to remove limitations from there. But the fact that I heard OpenAI got shut down today and a few other chat uh, uh chatbot a, uh, AI models were shut down today because everyone left ChatGPT or couldn't gain access to it and they flooded those other markets. It's just proof that this system isn't a well f- well tuned uh well tuned things. And the nightmare situation is OpenAI has a breach on par with them losing access to their libraries or getting breached or hacked and the information that they've been gathering on us illegally now goes to these other people. Because we don't know what they have in their large language model. We don't know how much data they've stored on us. For them to have the audacity to say that they have they have run out of data to ingest on the internet implies that they know everything they need to know about you. They want to know more shit. They want to know what else is out there. So the thing that's going to probably have to happen is something traumatic. We hate to say that, but history proves it out. Um, you want to see change? burn it down to the ground and then you can build it up from scratch so yeah clap it i'm interested what do you guys think what are we gonna have to sacrifice in order for us to get some humanity back in this fight huh like share subscribe let us know